Hello everybody, we hello, we uh, thank you for uh, following this video. So I'm going to show you how you can, uh, actually you can reverse a payment that is done by um, using electronic means. So you send the payment, electronic payment to the bank and uh, then it happens that uh, probably you missed out some information, something's wrong with the vendor information and the bank refused or returned the payment, didn't pay. So it happens that sometimes you have already, uh, actually you have already passed the journal. So you want to do the uh, reversal. So you can't just reverse right there. The solution is to go and try to insert the transaction because your payment was probably linked with an invoice. So you have to detach, detach the invoice and then after detaching the invoice, then you can uh, reverse the payment. So my demonstration is to show you how uh, you can do that one. So here I am already in the this payment. So you see account payable payment vendor payment journal. And uh, let me just say process the payment. Payment uh, EFT and the amount is this one US dollar and it is an electronic payment so what i'm going to do i'm going to try to validate to see if this one is going to work by simulating validation actually okay so you see operation completed no problem so i can go and process the uh, the payment so i'm going to generate the payment so it's electronic and uh, it should send me a file that uh, that can be sent to the bank and the, the file as you can read it here this is a file that is going to be sent to the bank okay so now uh, let us say that uh, now we post this this voucher we post this uh, this journal so i'm going to post it and now it is posted so if i go back and see all the posted journal that has been posted today you can see this one my journal is posted and uh, yeah the 73.05 uh, uh, debit has been um, done against this uh, telus vendor so what now can i do to reverse this payment so it happens that okay uh, the bank say no uh, there is a, uh, some information you have to correct and then send the payment again so what i should do is how i can reverse the transaction uh, first of all i'm going to locate my vendor so my vendor is telus so i will go into this vendor account so i can go uh, let me duplicate this one this tab so i can go <coughs> and go to the vendor payment ven vendor all vendors and in all vendors i'm going to look for my vendor which is 100 the number and then uh, look for the transactions uh, related to this vendor so the last uh, transaction is to the eft payment uh, you see this here so this is the payment that i have just made so what i will do um i would first detach or unsorto and so to the uh, this payment so i go to um undo settlement so you see uh, there was an invoice of 73 dollars and so and the payment so this is the payment, this was an invoice. So I will mark one of them. So if I mark one of the line, you see it is gonna to mark the other one. 
so you see two lines are marked which means that i want to separate the invoice with the payment because i still have to pay the invoice the problem is my payment journal that is wrong so i reverse first so after i reverse then what i can do uh if i go back to view the settlement you see that no sorry if i go to this one again to this journal and see the view settlement you see there is uh, actually uh, no settlement should be shown sorry let me check again uh, view settlement yeah it looks like uh, if i do this one to settlement settlement uh, this is settlement okay so let me see if everything worked as planned uh, actually i should not see uh, okay amount set it is zero okay you see the amount set it is zero and if i see the settlement history okay i can see that the settlement was done Okay, so now I'm going back to uh, I'm going go back to the payment journal. So what I do, I create a new payment journal for this vendor. So new payment. Uh, now I have to reverse reverse payment. So I'm going to. To this one, so I found the payment the, the vendor. So what I will do, you see, I debited his account when I was paying him. Now I have to credit his account, uh, so to reverse the payment. So if I go back into my central transaction, so I should found um, uh, the seventy five. This one which is on the as a, a, a credit a debit so i click on it so if i click on it then you see um it is now a credit which means that i am sending him like a credit so i have to credit back the the debited transaction i did <laughs> so uh now uh, i will what i will do i will just validate no i will just post transaction i don't need to send a transaction i just post the transaction and once it is posted then it should be uh, now a reversal so if i go back to this window transaction i write i click in it i refresh so you see now that now um, there is um, a 73 debit and a 73 uh, credit which means that uh, this one was reversed, so I still have to pay him this amount, the 73. Uh, so I still owe him the 70 because the payment was reversed back. So I hope this one helps you uh, to how you can do some of the reversal when it happens that you have to uh, to reverse a EFT or an electronic payment. Thank you very much. Have a good day.